In the heart of a bustling city where life's mundane rhythm thrummed steadily, my name is Greg, a pragmatic software engineer navigated my world of logic and reason. To me, ancient prophecies and religious myths were mere fairy tales, but the world as I knew it was about to unravel in the most bizarre and horrifying way. It began subtly, almost imperceptibly. News reports of erratic weather patterns and bizarre animal behaviour captured headlines, but it was the mysterious disappearances that sent a ripple of unease through society. Initially, I dismissed them as sensational journalism, but these events took a surreal turn when eyewitnesses reported seeing people being lifted into the sky. They described it as if an invisible force was pulling them upwards, defying all laws of physics and reason. This phenomenon, so vivid and yet unbelievable, fueled theories of a biblical rapture. Religious leaders and faith-based communities were in a frenzy. Some proclaimed it as the ultimate testament to their faith, gathering in masses to pray and prepare for their ascension. Others were sceptical, warning their followers not to be deceived by what could be a grand cosmic trick. The frequency and strangeness of these events increased, gripping the world in a growing sense of dread. I watched with a sceptic's eye as the fabric of normalcy began to tear. When the term rapture started dominating the news, the religious fervour reached its peak. My disbelief wavered when my neighbour, a kind elderly woman known for her garden, vanished without a trace, her disappearance accompanied by witnesses claiming they saw her being taken skiwards. Chaos unfolded rapidly. Governments crumbled in their attempts to maintain order. From my apartment window, I witnessed the descent into anarchy, the city, once alive with order and routine, now pulsated with looting, violence and despair. Civilization, it seemed, was a thin veneer that had been brutally stripped away. As the world around me descended into madness, my days were consumed by a relentless quest for understanding. I scored the internet for clues, piecing together the global pattern of disappearances and strange phenomena. Sleep became an elusive companion as my mind raced with theories and possibilities. On a daring scavenging trip through the desolate city, I found myself in an abandoned electronics store. There, amidst the ruins, I discovered a functioning laptop. Driven by curiosity, I delved into its contents, uncovering files left by a conspiracy theorist. The information was chilling, photos, documents and eyewitness accounts all suggested a terrifying truth. The rapture wasn't a divine event but an orchestrated alien harvest. These beings, mistaken for divine entities, were collecting humans. I attempted to share my findings but the remnants of society were beyond reason. The few I encountered were solely focused on survival, their minds closed to anything beyond the immediate horrors they faced. Then, on a night that seemed like any other in this new era of chaos, I experienced the unthinkable. A strange, otherworldly light enveloped me, lifting me from the earth. My last vision was the city below, a maelstrom of fire and panic growing smaller and smaller. Consciousness returned to me in a realm of nightmares. I found myself aboard an alien vessel surrounded by technology that defied comprehension. Other humans, their faces had shed with terror, shared my fate. The creatures moving among them were the stuff of cosmic horror, their intentions horrifyingly clear when I witnessed a group of humans being herded away. Their screams assured through the metallic corridors, a chilling soundtrack to the unfolding nightmare. I realised the horrific truth of their purpose. These beings were using humans not as chosen ones for some divine ascension, but for experiments for sustenance. The rapture was real, but it was far from the salvation humanity had been taught to expect. It was a harvest, a culling by beings who viewed humans as nothing more than resources. As I hastily record this message on a terminal I found in a secluded corner of the ship, my hands tremble. I can hear footsteps approaching and I fear I might be next. This may be my last chance to tell the world the truth. Remember me, remember us, and beware of the rapture.